New at 10 with the new school year underway. The gloves came off during one school board meeting in Brownsville, and it was all about something they don't even have to eat. Good evening, I'm Nicole Hickel. And I'm Chris Jacobs. The hot button issue was school lunches. CBS 4 Stephen Seeley joins us in the studio. And Stephen, you spoke with past BISD students. What did they have to say? Well, Chris, the former students I spoke with had good and bad things to say about the district's school lunches, but it was one board of trustee member that brought the issue to light. And it's a story you'll see only on four. And, and I've had lunch over the last, you know, 10 years. And I went again this last year with a group and uh, uh, the lunch was pretty bad. I'm sorry to say. Brownsville ISD Board of Trustee Minerva Pena isn't a fan of the provided district lunches. She even aired issues about the food during a board meeting earlier this month. So that's what the kids are bringing up, sir. So, and those are the concerns they brought up to me, and I appreciate that you're going to look into that because they're very conscientious of their health. According to Pena, students said the problems were how food was packaged, handled, and stored. But in the same meeting, Superintendent Dr. Esperanza Zendejas mentioned all the food they serve is safe. So I wanted to hear from the BISD community about their personal experience with school lunches and feelings were mixed. To be honest, it needs a little more, more flavor on it. It needs more flavor, but uh, it was well balanced and, and I, I, it's, it's actually pretty good. It's like, and some of like, you can see like the apples are kind of rotten and like they only give you like really bad food. So, and it's not even tasty, it's like disgusting. But Pena posed the question, what can the district do to make the food more inviting and healthy? Lorenzo Sanchez oversees the district's food services department. He says things will get better. Uh, I think we're, we're moving forward in the right direction. Uh, it's going to take some time, but, you know, it's not. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, you go from one school district to the other, they have the same rules and the same guidelines. Over the phone, Superintendent Dr. Zendejas told me that the district is working on a building of storage facility to keep fruits and vegetables fresh. Tomorrow, Dr. Zendejas agreed to an on-camera interview for more information on the district's food services. In the studio with complete Valley coverage, Stephen Seeley, CBS4 Valley, tonight.